Cormac McCarthy, a celebrated figure in American literature, passed away at the age of 89 due to natural causes at his residence in Santa Fe, New Mexico. The news of his demise was confirmed by his publisher through an official statement. McCarthy, renowned for his exceptional storytelling, received the Pulitzer Prize in 2007 for his poignant post-apocalyptic novel. The Road His writing style encompassed both starkness and lyricism, with a strong southwestern influence evident throughout his body of work. J.T. Barberese, an English and writing professor at Rutgers University. Hales McCarthy is not only one of the greatest novelists but also a literary stylist of unparalleled caliber. Barberese highlights McCarthy's recurring exploration of the origins of evil and the intertwined nature of history in his writing. This thematic intersection captivated readers time and again. To illustrate McCarthy's prowess, consider a scene from his western masterpiece, Blood Meridian. The tale follows a teenage boy from Tennessee who flees his home and eventually finds himself in San Antonio. Destitute and Exhausted In a fateful turn of events, the boy agrees to join a renegade ex-Confederate captain aiming to invade northern Mexico and claim it for white America, exchanging his belongings for a horse, saddle, and boots. That evening, the boy and two newfound acquaintances venture into a local cantina where they encounter an elderly Mennonite man. The Mennonite issues dire warnings about the impending doom that awaits them in Mexico. McCarthy's subsequent passage resonates with brutality and poeticism, they drank on in the wind blew in the streets. And the stars that had been overhead lay low in the west, and these young men fell afoul of others, and words were said that could not be put right again. And in the dawn, the kid in the second corporal knelt over the boy from Missouri who had been named Earl, and they spoke his name, but he never spoke back. The men were gone, the whores were gone. He lay on his side in the dust of the courtyard. The boy lay with his skull broken in a pool of blood, none knew by whom. An old man swept the clay floor within the cantina. It was the Mennonite. A third one came to be with him in the courtyard. A warm wind was blowing, and the east held a gray light. The fowls roosting among the grapevines had begun to stir and call. The Mennonite, wearing his hat in his hands, leaves the courtyard through the gate, proclaiming, There is no such joy in the tavern as upon the road thereto. Barbara Ease, having read McCarthy's works multiple times, emphasizes the profound impact of passages like this, where McCarthy beautifully describes a menace and horror that captivates readers with its terrifying lure. Although born in Rhode Island, McCarthy spent his formative years in the South, where his father worked as a lawyer for the Tennessee Valley Authority, akin to the literary abilities of Fitzgerald and Faulkner. Pursuing a writing career, McCarthy adopted the name Cormac to avoid confusion with Edgar Bergen's renowned ventriloquist dummy, Charlie McCarthy. In 1965, Random House published his first novel, The Orchard Keeper but it was the release of Blood Meridian in 1985 that truly established his literary reputation. In 1992, his coming-of-age novel, All the Pretty Horses, the first book in his Border Trilogy, won the National Book Award, thrusting McCarthy into the limelight. Initially conceived as a screenplay, No Country for Old Men evolved into a novel that solidified McCarthy's standing as a towering figure in Western literature. The subsequent film adaptation received four Academy Awards, including the coveted Best Picture Accolade, in 2008. Notorious for his reclusive nature, McCarthy despised any association with celebrity and largely declined interviews. However, he made an exception for Oprah in 2007, who naturally questioned him about his aversion to publicity. McCarthy candidly shared a tale of his literary inspiration, recounting a moment in Texas when he stood at a hotel window, gazing out onto the town engulfed in the lonesome sound of passing trains. This vision sparked his imagination, leading him to write a few pages contemplating a man and his young son in a desolate wasteland. These few pages eventually grew into his devastating Pulitzer Prize-winning masterpiece, The Road. With Gormack McCarthy's passing, the literary world mourns the loss of a remarkable talent. His unique style, characterized by its starkness and lyrical beauty, captivated readers and earned him a place among the greats of American literature.
McCarthy's an exploration of profound themes, such as the origins of evil and the weight of history, left an indelible mark on the literary landscape. As we reflect on his powerful body of work, his legacy as a master storyteller and stylist remains unmatched.